Hi there folks, um, today's video is going to be um, for Senorita by Sean Mendes and Camilla Cabello. I'm going to make three videos. First one is the basic chords and a particular strumming pattern that's kind of new to the channel. And then a uh, video that's more in a Sean Mendes style, how he plays it. And then finally the uh, a short video to show you the instrumental part, the tune that's played um, during the song. So, um, and we're going to be using a kind of a technique where you're slapping the guitar um, as part of the way you play it. So, so you're using this kind of slapping pattern, and it's kind of percussive sound. Because after all, the guitar is a percussion instrument. So it just adds an extra little bit of element to the song. Now, the chords we're going to be using, first one is A um, minor, which is first finger on the first fret of the B string. Second finger on the second fret of the D string and third finger on the second fret of the G string. It's the same shape as an A ma E major chord moved up a fret. And what makes it an A minor, you can see my dots here for the A major chord, which are three dots in a row. The C sharp there, if you drop that to a C, it then becomes a major chord. The next chord is a C major 7. So this is your standard C, first finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger on the second fret of the D string, and third finger on the third fret of the A string. For a C major 7, you just pull off this finger here, so you're playing an open B, which is the seventh um, note in the C major scale. Next one is an F major 7, so this time it's an F chord with an E. So this is a diagonal chord, so first finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger on the second fret of the G string, and third finger on the third fret of the D string. You can include the A, but don't play the bottom E string. Although there is an E in the chord, that kind of, you know, it's too, it's too, kind of slightly overpowering. And then the, the next chord is um, an E minor 7. Now normally you'd play E minor with your second and third finger, but because we're going to be changing to a G after it, I'm going to suggest you play it with your first finger. So your first finger on the second fret of the A string, and that's it. Everything else is open. And then you're going to change to a G chord, standard G chord. Green dots on my guitar. So first finger on the second fret of the A string, second finger on the third fret of the bottom E string, and third finger on the third fret of the top E string. Now that one, all the other chords you play for two bars... C major 7, F major 7, but for the E minor G bit, you're just going to do a shorter E minor 7 and change to a G. Now I've made up a little rhythm for a backing track, which I'll just quickly play for you. And this is the kind of rhythm we're playing along to. Just turn up a little bit. And you can hear that you've got a bass drum going boom, boom, boom snare drum hitting on the second and fourth beats of the bar. So the snare drum is... That's the snare beat. Now that is what you're going to do with your hand. So when we're strumming, you're going to slap the guitar on the second and fourth beats of the bar. And then your strumming pattern is the same as the bass drum on the, the, the drum pattern. So that goes... Now, if I was playing this, well, you know, I am playing it, I, I would play this with just my hand. I just use my fingers to strum, because then that gives you your sort of free hand, you're not holding a plectrum. It gives you more oomph in your slap. You can slap using the flat of your hand, which at the same time kills the guitar strings, which is what you're going for. So as you slap the guitar, you're stopping the strings from ringing out. Or you can use your nails. Don't bash the guitar too hard because that might hurt and what well, did hurt and also you know you're not going to do your guitar any good but you're sort of hitting down here on the sound box so it's just a kind of percussive slap so um what i'll do is i'll put a little backing track on and play along to it and then basically you can see how the whole thing fits together so C major 7, F major 7, E minor 7, and a G, E minor, C major 7, F major 7, 
song that's the rhythm for the whole song so i'll keep this video nice and short finish it there and then the next one will be looking at how sean mendes the kind of way he plays it <laughs> 